Welcome to the CCE Distance Learning Center, otherwise known as Moodle at CCE. I assume you've arrived at this site because you're going to be taking one of our online courses. So we're going to take the next few minutes and step you through the process of creating an account, getting into the system, and creating your first forum post, which is one of the activities you'll probably want to engage in once you get your account set up. So you go to moodle.cce.cornell.edu, which is the site we're looking at here. You'll notice that if you want to log in or create a new account, there are a couple ways you can get there. Uh, you can use this block here, or you can go up to this option here. Either one takes you to the same location. Here we are at the login screen. Now, if you've taken a previous online course with us and you've set up an account, you can log in using your username and password here. If it's your first time, if you're a new user, you want to create the new account. So we'll just click that to take a look at what that process is like. You have to create a username, obviously, and a password. And the password has some requirements. It has to be at least eight characters. You have to have one number, one lowercase, one uppercase, and one non-alphanumeric character, one symbol or something uh, that makes it a little harder for people to guess your password. It's for uh, security issues. I know that they're more difficult to remember than things like password or your birthday or things like that, but it really does help ensure the security and integrity of the system. So that's why we have a password requirement there. You'll need your email address so that the system can communicate with you, uh, your name, where you're from, and the country that you're in. And then you just click the Create My New Account button. What will happen then is the system will send an email to you at the email address you've specified with a link to confirm your account. And once you've confirmed your account, you are all set to go. But I have an account already, so we're just going to go back and I'm going to log in. Once I log in, I'm taken back to the home page. And you can see now I'm logged in as Barney Rubble. And I have a little menu that I can access up here that will let me uh, edit my profile, change my password, things like that. Uh, if I receive messages from other users, I can access them here, and grades and things like that. You can also have uh, quick and easy access to your courses if you go to the My Courses option up here in the top menu bar. And this will allow you to click into any courses that you've been enrolled in. Now, if you're self-enrolling, if you've received a link from an instructor and you need to uh, enroll yourself in that link, you can just, once you've created your account and set it up, you can then click that link, enroll in the course, and then if you come back, the next time you come back to the site, it will show up in your My Courses options here. Editing the profile, if you go into Preferences and you want to do things like add a picture or things, uh, anything like that, you can do that here. And it is just kind of a, a nice little option. It allows people to get an idea of uh, who you are. And I find that it is... Uh, somewhat helpful to have an image of yourself. It just sort of makes you more real to the other folks in your course. You can, of course, add your interests, and there are a bunch of other things you can add in here if you want to, depending on how complete you want to make your profile. That's wholly up to you and in, in your control. Once you've added a picture or not, or made some changes to your profile, you may want to go into one of your courses. So again, we're going to use the, the link up here, and I'm going to pop into one of the courses that I'm enrolled in. And the system is asking me if I want to leave the page because I haven't made any changes or I haven't saved what I've, I've changed. And I don't need to at this point, so we're just going to leave that page. And here we are in my online course that I've enrolled in. A lot of instructors will customize the course with blocks on the uh, left or right hand side that provide you with information about what's happening in the course. Here you can see I have a recent activity block, latest news, uh, navigation, things like that. This is designed and developed by the instructor, and they just provide ways for you to get uh, quick access to forum posts and things like that. Again, your actual look may vary a bit, but that is, again, uh, up to your instructor which blocks they choose to put in here. Um, again, this is what a course looks like. It may look a little bit different for you depending on the, the theme or the design choices that your instructor has made. But I can access course content by clicking on week one. And you can see that it takes me into the content there. 
I mentioned before that one of the first things that you'll probably want to do as a new uh, course participant is introduce yourself in one of the forums. And so we're going to take a look at the Welcome and Introductions forum here. I just click on that link and it takes me into Welcome and Introductions. Now for if this is uh, a forum that's set up specifically for this, you'll add a new discussion topic. So you click the button here and we want to say hello and then you type your message in here. And you do have some limited uh, formatting options for your text here. You can bold and italicize things if that's your desire. You can also insert links to uh, websites if you have a blog, personal information that you would like to share that way. The discussion subscription option, if you just hover over the question mark, uh, it will tell you what the subscription options are. And what that means is some discussions will be set up by your instructor to automatically subscribe you so that you will receive emails every time there's a forum post. Uh, you can also, as a learner in many of the discussions, choose to not be subscribed. Uh, but again, you cannot override the desire of the instructor. So if they've said this is a, a, a forum that has mandatory subscription, you will then receive emails. So every time somebody comes into the introduction forum, I, now that I'm enrolled in the course as a participant, will receive an email saying, oh look, uh, Joanna has joined the course and here's her um, welcome message. So the next thing I want to do is I don't want to drop any files in there. I'm just going to post this to the forum. And you can see we have 30 minutes to edit if you want to make any changes. That's just a little safety measure. Uh, it does allow you to go back in and uh, clean up things like misspellings or you want to add something else or you want to take something away because you got over enthused and you realized you didn't want to share quite that much. You have half an hour to do that. Uh, but you can see here's my post. Hello, I'm Barney. And it's uh, a very simple thing and I'm still in that editing period so I can go in and edit the post. And I've updated it, and here we go. This is neat. Well, it is rather neat. Uh, there are options in how you display uh, forum posts. The default is set to nested, and that what that means is when I reply to a forum post, as we're going to do here just as a test, click the reply button, and it said, here's the subject I'm replying to. Hello, I'm Barney. And so you type in your reply, welcome Barney, glad to have you in the course, something like that if you were taking this seriously. And again, we have that 30 minute window. You can see nested form displays the replies underneath the original message. Um, and you can actually change that. And that's up to you. Um, threaded does collapse things. You can experiment with any of these things and always go back to the default uh, it's not a problem. There's nothing you're going to be able to break in the system. Uh, you as a participant don't have uh, the power to break the system, so you should feel free to experiment with the way things look and feel. There is some customization you can do for yourself as a learner. Up top here you can see that this is an expanding, and these are called breadcrumbs, that allow you to quickly navigate through the course. So if I want to go back to the course homepage, I can just go right here and click this and it takes me back to the home page. You can also see in the recent activity block here it's been updated with uh, there's some new forum posts. Uh, there's the, the original post and there's the reply and they show up in recent activity. That will get you into the course. That will get you hopefully up and running. Uh, a lot of the activities that you'll engage in in Moodle will have very similar editing capabilities built in. So once you get used to uh, working with the inline editor, as it's called here, you should be able to move through any assignments you have here, uh, any activities, quizzes, things like that. will all look and feel somewhat familiar to you. So a forum introduction, a forum post is a great way to introduce yourself to working with the system. If I go to my dashboard, this gives me a quick overview. You can see that I'm enrolled in two courses here and I can quickly navigate uh, between them. This will tell me when there are new forum posts that have come in that I haven't viewed. Um, so you can easily and quickly access your, your forum posts there. 
uh, calendars, if there are any uh, scheduled events that your instructor has put in here, they will show up in your calendar. And for my dashboard, I can just go back home again. And this takes me to the main uh, Moodle page here. You can see there are a couple options. Uh, we've already talked about login and create an account. If you're having an issue with Moodle, if there's something that's not working properly, you can just send us a message to the uh, IT help desk that will contact us so that we can get in touch with you and figure out what's going wrong, why it isn't working right, uh, and help you get into your course successfully and, and move through it. And that's a very short introduction. I didn't want to take too much time, but it should give you enough to get to the course, get your account set up, log into your first class, and get a forum post up and running. So, if you have any issues, please use the Need Help with Moodle link there, and we'll get back to you and get you up and running. Uh, and good luck in your course.